Good reflux. It affects a million of you, and many of you are probably taking medication for it right now. But new research suggests that medications may be secretly doing you harm. So today, I'm going to show you medication free ways to say goodbye to acid reflux. You know the pain, the blistering burn in your stomach, a heaviness in your chest, your throat raw and sore. Acid reflux. When it strikes, you need relief. You reach for tablets, guzzle pink stuff, and pop prescription pills, all to calm the fire raging in your stomach. But concerning new research reveals that these acid-reducing drugs could be causing long-term harm. Studies show that in some individuals, prolonged use of these medications can rob you of B12, which is linked with anemia, a host of neurological problems, and even dementia. Think you're not at risk? One of the largest groups suffering from these side effects is people under 30. So what are you supposed to do when acid reflux attacks? The good news? We'll show you easy, medication-free ways to battle the blaze in your belly. So Gail's joining us. How often do you get acid reflux? I get it almost every single day. And stress makes it even worse. And unfortunately, I'm under stress right now. <laughs> so, so describe your symptoms right now, then. Uh, it has, starts like a burning in the stomach, yeah. and then it goes up into my throat, and it makes me get hoarse. And then I have to drink a lot of cold water. Yeah. And in fact, last night, I was under stress, and I told my husband, I'm giving him, like, not orders, but just yelling a little bit, and he's like... Orders. Why, why is your throat? What's wrong with you? I said, it's my acid reflux. So he says, get me some water. <laughs> out of a commercial practice. Everything you described is right out of the book. The common symptoms are burning anywhere from your stomach all the way up to your throat. You, mm -hmm. We brought that up. A lot of people don't realize that. Hoarseness, sour taste in your mouth. And then, of course, you get a chronic cough because the acid is refluxing back over. A lot of people with asthma actually have reflux. Really? Misdiagnosed. OK, so oh. I'm going to go through non-medical solutions for everybody to understand how to treat acid reflux and say goodbye to the medications. Each treats a different cause of acid reflux. The first one prevents acid reflux by entirely changing the way the sphincter works. And so there's a big muscle in between your stomach and the esophagus is right about here. And when it gets loose, the acid actually can flow back up. That's why we have the problem. Oh, so gotcha. coming back around, okay. I'm going to show you a really cool solution. For the first time ever, I'm talking about something for the acid reflux that I never thought worked before. Wow. Melatonin. Now, we've talked about melatonin for sleep before. A lot of you know that. But this actually makes sense to me now that I think about it, because when you're asleep, your body has to be extra vigilant to prevent the reflux from happening, because you're lying on your back. Right. And gravity would carry it up. It turns out there's 400 times more melatonin made in your intestines than made in your brain. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah. That's great, because I want to get off my pill. Now, most of us, especially now we know the side effects. Now, there's one other thing I want to point out. You want to take it for a couple weeks. You don't want to just take it for a couple days. You got to take it, you know, three milligrams for four weeks. Take it about two hours before bedtime to see if it really works for you. Let me okay, show you right. why I think this works. It's one of the most impressive pieces of research I've ever seen that really would naturally allow us to do the right thing. So I built you a model based on that research. Okay. This giant tube is your stomach. All right? Impressive. Up at the very top of the red ribbon, that's where that sphincter is that I mentioned to you. All right. All right? So you're going to have to play acid reflux. Sounds good. Get to work. There's all the acid. Now, you've had a big cheese nacho meal. Pour that in there. All right, the acid starts flowing all over the place. And that, the sphincter goes up in smoke as the stomach blows the acid up. Then you wash it down with a soda. And then finally, a piece of cheesecake. And all this acid is flowing all over the place. The acid gets past the sphincter, makes you miserable, causes that burning feeling in your head. So I'm going to shut that sphincter down and turn off that motor. And when I snap the sphincter shut, I literally can block the ability of any acid down here in the stomach gale to go back up into the esophagus, into your mouth, and everything else that's above us here. Wow. That's literally what melatonin seems to do when it's put in the body. And that way, the acid can't wreak havoc inside of your body. Make that's sense? That's great. All right. So let me loosen it up a little bit. So, come on over here. We got, you got acid all over you. Oh, I got acid oh. all over me. What a surprise. <laughs> okay, yeah. So we also have a natural solution that works to prevent further damage of the stomach and the esophagus. And I want you to try licorice to accomplish that. I'm not talking about the red kind of licorice, the right. candy you get in the five and tens. Mm -hmm. I know you're going there. This actually coats real licorice, coats the stomach and the esophagus, and it prevents uh, some of the burning that happens by building yes. up the protective mucus. Mm -hmm. So you actually want that benefit. It heals ulcers sometimes as well. So you're going to look oh, for DGL licorice. 
DGL. DGL licorice. That means it's been stabilized for long-term use. You're going to chew one to two tablets mm -hmm. 20 minutes before a meal. So here, just chewing on that. Enjoy it. What do you think Thank about you. that? That's good. It's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. Yeah. And it, you know, since it works, I think you should put that into your armamentarium together with the melatonin. Last one, for the occasional flare-up, this is the simplest solution of all. It's baking soda. It's alkaline. Now think about this. It's the acid that's causing the problem. The alkaline solution neutralizes that. It's found in baking soda. You got it all over the place. It works immediately. You take about a tablespoon uh, of baking soda and add it to a half a cup of water. And for anyone that's suffering from acid reflux, it's a very simple solution that you've got right in your cupboard. I would never think of that. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to force you to take this right now. <laughs> but it's the kind of thing I would offer to you. That's great. Thank you very never much. Never heard of that. Thank You're you welcome. very much. We'll be right back. Yeah.